Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I'm gonna test some very interesting level three body armor that I got from AR500. It's a polyethylene. It is essentially plastic is what it is. I think it's got some Kevlar woven in. Anyway, we'll get into that in the specs and tech. The big thing is it floats, which is why I'm standing down here at my pond, because if you're wearing, you know, level three plus body armor, uh, you really want to be cautious around water because it's going to sink you like an anchor. So what I'm going to do to show you that it actually floats is I'm going to run and I'm going to jump into this damn cold water. And it is almost November and I'm really not excited about this. But this stuff was supposed to come during the summer. So, you know, whatever. Improvise, adapt and overcome. And then before I get out, I'm going to strap on the steel stuff and show you how I sink with that on. Anyway, it's going to be interesting. I'm not excited to do this. Oh, shit! Oh, that's cold! Woo! Ah. It floats! It's a good thing it floats. <laughs> Hurry, go get my camera. Hurry up. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Okay, yeah, that was hilarious, seriously. Um, this was supposed to be done back in July when the water was warm, not uh, just above freezing, but, you know, it is what it is. It came when it came, and that's the review that I had been planning to do. That water, guys, was cold. So what was the purpose of all that? Not just the entertainment and joking around. It was to demonstrate without doubt that AR500's polyethylene or PE level three armor does indeed float and with you in it. Now I didn't strap on the level three plus lightweight um, and show you how I sunk because the water was too damn cold and I really didn't want to go under the water any more than I already did. I guarantee you I would have sunk like a rock. Now it's not just about floating, it's about the lightest weight level three armor available coming in at three and a half pounds a plate, front and back. So that means we got seven pounds of just plate. That's pretty light. The The metal is coming in, the level three, 8.7 pounds of the level three plus lightweight, which is light, is seven pounds of plate. We're talking 14 pounds of the ultra lightweight of just the plates and they don't float you sink now overall carrier and all this one weighs 8.6 pounds that's light that is really light the ultra light comes in at 16.2 pounds and that's level three plus lightweight that makes a huge difference guys when you're lugging this stuff around all day now, another thing to consider is you're not going to have spall with this like you will with the metal. Now, you can pay extra for the extra thick spall coating, but you know it's still going to separate after so many rounds. Now, I'll also say with the metal, you're going to have several repeated shots before you have spall with the coating that they have. Now, this may not stop everything. The level 3 plus will, but it'll stop more than you think. Let's just check it out. Okay, real quick for the 556, I'm going to start off with this Federal MX193, and I'm going to use 
my Galil 556As. Okay, next I'm gonna shoot some 762 by 51 NATO, you know, AKA the 308. This is the M80 ball ammo. And I'm gonna use another Galil and see if this penetrates. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, home of the crazy stupid deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. And I've got the rope tied to it just in case when I'm shooting, it goes through and it sinks, and that's a joke. Okay, and last one is the AK-47. This is just you know standard uh, wolf ammo, 122 grain, and this is my PSA AKP. Okay, so when we take a quick look at this, we do see that we had maybe a couple penetrations here. Let's see if we hit the same spot twice. What's interesting is you can't even see the entry holes. I've got an entry hole there, there, there and then you look at how this is split but that actually i don't think went all the way through in fact we've got the bullet stopped the bullets are stopped right here and some of these were close together i mean here's two bullets right on top of each other which i think is part of the problem here with coming through here's another one up here I was getting these a little bit high. And when we look at the vest itself, got a little bit tear in there. Let's take a look at the other plate and see if anything came through. Okay, so on the back plate here, we had a little bit of a dent here, but nothing, nothing coming through. Nothing, no bullets penetrating all the way through plate one into plate two where it distorted like that okay it did push on and tear the vest now to be honest with this one initially i thought why would you want to wear um the trauma pad under it this is why you'd want to wear the trauma pad okay that's going to be a lot like wearing soft body armor. 
Now with that said, as much as I tried to stagger the shots, it seems like I pretty much got them all up in this area, okay? Somehow I didn't seem to hit down here at all, which is why we have this effect is out of those six shots, it seems somehow as much as I tried to get them spread out, I got them pretty much all concentrated right on this side. Okay, so like the 762, you know, I've got one going in here. It didn't even make it halfway through. It did stop. It just deformed this. But I also hit it at an angle from the side. And same with some of these others. I actually, right here in this area, I found several bullets so i guess as much as i tried to hit the different areas i wasn't successful with that okay i just finished doing a review on a aero precision upper the 556 and i've got you know most of that box of that five 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 six ammo the 193 left in there the plate's not going to be usable so let's just uh let's just shoot it up let's dump the rest of the box in that I've got a Crimson Trace uh, CMR on there, laser light. Hopefully that'll allow me to place the shots a little more evenly apart. And let's just see what happens. Okay, so I got my Crimson Trace on here. You can see, hopefully you can see the laser from there. I can see it really good here. And we can just uh, start firing away. Oh yeah, hey, we spaced those out good. You know, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, let's uh, let's get this off. I see the two that I shot below it and missed. I don't see anything penetrating through. I see the multiple entries. So it's really only when we're we're doubling up and we're getting. A shot on a shot. Now I had the same thing happen with the level three steel. If you get one round right on top of the other, it will penetrate. Okay. But how many rounds did we put into this? And I mean, those two were low. I don't think we had, that looks like maybe a penetration there. And that would have been right up there. Um, this kind of looks like it broke open, but I don't see anything on the wood here. In fact, it's really in great shape. Okay, so we've already shot the crap out of this. We put in over 20 rounds. It's separating. Um, it was questionable. We did have, I think, one penetration round on round. I've got another 10 rounds for the AK-47. I'm going to put this cardboard up on a clean face here and let's just see let's see if we get penetration even with it in this condition and beat up okay, so we've got it all set up here we've got this cardboard multiple layers so there won't be any question whatsoever if there's a projectile penetration or just sort of you know the the blunt force trauma hitting the cardboard because it won't go through all those layers of cardboard. Yeah, I definitely saw some stuff fly out the bottom here. Um, yeah, that was a low hit there, so that definitely penetrated. Let's open this baby up. <laughs> okay, look at the back side. Had some blunt force trauma. Got a little bit of shrapnel. Ooh, that's hot. A little bit of shrapnel here that went sideways. Okay, had one, penetra one penetration here. Now, before anybody's 
thinking, yeah, you know, but I had a couple penetrations. We just put over 30 rounds of 5.56, five, 7.62, six, six, and 7.62 by 51 into that same plate. That's impressive. Okay, so we pull out that plate that we had already shot up, and we had a lot of these same spots. It is still very much intact, as we saw on the cardboard, still did an awesome job stopping bullet penetration. If we look up here, okay, from the previous one, that only bullet penetration I had was here, and that was a low shot. I have no projectile. We've got the one there that went sideways over here and kind of started coming through a little bit, but it did not penetrate the wood. And we open this up and we got lots of fragments in here. Let's just peel away towards the very back. Okay, so I just peeled off all but the very back side of it, deep down. Guys, there's there's really there's no penetration. I mean, here's one of the here's one of the 762 by 51s. And we did have one that came through here. And that was, I'm guessing, bullet on bullet. But this is intact. That is that is amazing with what we just put onto this vest. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel and make sure and hit that subscribe button. It really does help more than anything else. Also, don't forget to like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to guns and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.